Hi, my name is Richard. This is my beautiful wife, Elizabeth, and we've been coming to the Wayward Outreach for over eight years now. Today, we're going to share our testimony on giving. When we first uh, came to the church, we would give our tithe and an uh, offering. I didn't know anything about giving. Um, I, I did witness my husband when we first started coming, he would give regularly. And so as I learned more about scripture and I understood uh, what it meant, it encouraged me to be 100% obedient to the Lord. When we first heard about the first fruit, we understood that that was the most important time to give was during the first part of the year. And that really sets a tone for the rest of the year. I loved it when Pastor Marco said, if you want to give a number, you could choose your number, but 365 was $1 for every single day. And that I thought was pretty amazing because it's true. We're sowing a seed for every single day throughout the year, a financial seed that we all need. By sowing that seed, we know we're going to have a prosperous year that year. For me, the first fruit was really, really important um, as the year's progressed every single year, the more we gave, the bigger the blessing. There was never a financial worry for us. Instead, all we had was multiplication, multiplication. It was just amazing to just obey God and see what He did in return for that. It was incredible to see. As I was praying, the Lord told me that we would be builders. I went to Pastor Marco and I said, Pastor, God is saying I'm going to be a builder. I keep seeing cafes. Is there a cafe that we need to build in the church? He said, you know, as a matter of fact, we have a youth cafe that needs to be built. It was, uh, I, I never could imagine it would come out the way it did, you know, because at first it was like a little mop room. It seemed like it was just like a storage room, you know, so uh, she had the vision like to knock the wall down, put the glass and all that. We were part of building it ourselves. My husband painted, he went in there, he did the work. So not only did we do it um, with labor, but we also did it with the finances. And most importantly for me was the time, that I was obedient with my time. And all that did was open the doors to what God was gonna let me build next, which next was a commercial building and houses and an apartment. And he, he really, really, truly defined the word builder. And for me, that was amazing. We just keep giving, you know, and he keeps blessing us and we're able to give back to the church. We're able to um, participate in projects like Africa. You know, that was our last year. God put it in my wife's heart to, um, to do something in Africa for the orphanage and stuff like that. So it's a blessing to be able to help all these people, you know, and, and, um, and sow into the kingdom. And I love that scripture in Psalms where he says that um, taking care of the needy is like a loan and he pays his loans in full. It's overflowing favor in every area in our lives. It has really just transformed our lives in every single way. And that's why anybody I meet, every time I meet them, I say, look, you guys, this is your guarantee. This is your guarantee to be financially secure 100% is by saying yes to God and giving to the Lord. When God would, would in the Old Testament, when God would um, ask for the first fruits, he wants, he wants us to really give our best, you know, and, and trust in Him. So I strongly, suggest for anybody that if God did it for me and he has done it and will continue to do it every single day you will always see increase in my life it doesn't matter if it's a dollar if it's a dollar or if it's a thousand dollars it's all the same to the Lord because the Lord doesn't care about our money he cares about our hearts Welcome family, we are so glad that you're here at church. My name is Vanessa. And I'm Samuel, and wow, that was an amazing testimony video. What did you think about their testimony? Well, what I love, Sam, is seeing that their faithfulness really um, has blessed us. That's yeah. one of the ways that their faithfulness has blessed us through the Youth Cafe. Right. It hasn't only been a blessing to our youth, but really to everyone, everyone who comes and visits the church. And so I'm really just thankful for that. And yeah. I think it's awesome no, yeah, that definitely. they heard from the Lord and they were obedient. And before we get into our moment where we bring our regular tithes and offerings, let's get into two major announcements that we have for this Sunday. What's announcement number one? Well, the first announcement, family, is our first fruit offering. This is really the only time of the year that we can bring this type of offering. Right. So we encourage you, grab an envelope, take it home, pray about it, mm -hmm. and be prepared for this Sunday and in delivering your first fruit. Yes, that is huge. And um, announcement number two is definitely gonna be bring your goal cards. If you guys haven't filled these out yet, make sure to grab one on your way out before Sunday, because on Sunday, we're gonna bring these goal cards at the end of nine and 11 a.m. service, and we're gonna bring them up to the pastors, and they're gonna be praying for these and sending them right back out to you guys. 
So get ready because this year is gonna be awesome. That is right, Sam. And I wanna remind everyone of the Bible verse that Elizabeth shared in her testimony, Proverbs 19, 17. It says, if you help the poor, you are lending to the Lord and he will repay you. Yes, he will repay you and that's a promise. You know, one thing I love about what we do as a ministry here is we're always giving back to the poor. You know, you can always be sure that God is going to repay everything that we've been able to invest. And so make sure in this time of giving that you're praying, that you're yes. asking the Holy Spirit, what amount do you want me to give? What amount do you want me to invest into your kingdom? Because he will be sure to repay every single thing, but also that money and that investment, that, that amount that God's gonna give you is gonna go back into building lives for God and for his kingdom and for the gospel. Yeah, so here at The Way World Outreach, there's three ways that you can partner with us with caring for the poor. The first way is you can download The Way World Outreach app and give electronically. It's safe and secure, and you can also use it to set up recurring giving. Yes, recurring giving there. And then also, one of the second ways that you can give is definitely on the way.gives. That's the way.gives. You can put it on any browser, on any kind of mobile device, and you can give right there, right where you're at. And lastly, you can stand up, get out of your seats, make your way to our giving kiosk and give that way. Or if you'd like to come visit us here at the Hallmark Campus, Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., you're more than welcome to come. But right now, join us in welcoming up our worship team as they lead us into one last song of worship and use this time to worship through your giving.